we're all walking the gang of dogs to the Panaderia. Became a group family trip with security detail. I've done it. We got pretty much all sweet stuff, except I got one loaf of sourdough. Fat free, sugar free, all natural. Who's the best dress, Wendy? Yes! We <laughs> didn't even make it like 10 steps out of the door. <laughs> We got a little domed chocolate cake and it has coconut and like cream under that little spot there. We're eating cake for breakfast in Mexico. Mm. I want the coconut. I just want the chocolate. So good. I'm not like a big coconut person, so the chocolate's great. I love coconut. My mom told me she hates coconut so much. She told me when I was little I was allergic to it, so we shouldn't have to buy it and we wouldn't need it in the house. Didn't work. Nope, love it. All right, we are just about getting ready to head out of La Palapa. Really awesome first spot. Like I said, we're on the pricey end of what we're looking for, but it's a nice introduction to be able to kind of just like settle into the the Mexico vibes. And it was pretty sweet. Yeah. What would you say out of a 10 rating? I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Adios, Lapa Lapa. We're stopped. At the Calimax, we all need to pick up some produce, some groceries. Craziest thing, we had a Westie in the last campground. We were at a Pop Top Westie with a lady from Colorado in it from Boulder. And then I just looked across the street. It was a Dodge Pro Master. Also from Colorado. Colorado plates. It's apparently the place to come, especially from Colorado. All right, I'm gonna go get groceries and then we're gonna hit the road for our next stop. Grocery trip done, Calimax. And I spent see chicken turkey apples lime jalapeno avocado lemon pico salsa cilantro lechuga which is lettuce stuff for hamburgers and cucumbers for a total of 25 dollars 23 dollars i think american so not a bad little haul we got our water got your water yep and only 30 pesos not 30 bad how much we get we got 10 gallons sweet so now we're good to go for a bit. All right. Cilantro, Gracias. Now, try to buy tacos. Okay, bye. Hey. Bye. You have some for me. Thank you. <laughs> I got us some tacos. I put gross pickled onions on hers, but not Thank on you. mine. And I went for the hot binero uh, picante. Picante? Picante. Picante. Spice, picante. Spicy. Mucho picante, she said. Are you okay? Yeah, that hot binero is real hot. <clears throat> you, you didn't get that on mine, did you? No. Just mine. Yours is the, the picanto. She said mucho picante. <laughs> She said mucho picante, but I wasn't expecting it to be. You're in Mexico now. This is not Ecuador. Oh, I'm sweating. I was already sweating. The tortillas are amazing. Oh, that's good. Wow. I just drizzled across the whole thing. Jesus. You okay, mucho Skip? picante in Mexico is muy, muy picante. 
Oh. oh yeah, okay, we got tears. We got small amount of tears happening here. All right. <clears throat> We're here. Where are we? Um, we're at the hot springs. <laughs> we went to Puerto Cito. There's a hot spring over on the other side, so we're gonna walk up. We're gonna walk up that road, and we get to have hot springs up until two tomorrow. Cause we only paid for one night. We might go up and pay for another. We're gonna see how we like it first. But yeah, some hot springs right in the Sea of Cortez. We've run into so many people from Colorado here already, and this is like day three. But so at the last spot, the chicken, the Westie was from Colorado. And then we just saw Colorado plates outside of the grocery store. And then we parked at this new spot in Puerto Cito and our neighbors are from Durango. And I went to, I went to school down there at Fort Leisure, didn't graduate. That was the first question she asked me after I told her that. <laughs> so you know, she's a real one. Yeah, more Colorado people here than I had ever expected. It's awesome. You got here? Oh, no. oh. Slug bug, white. I already hit you for that. We're walking down to see where the hot springs are because if we have to do this in the middle of the night and it's dark, I wanna know where I'm walking. But we can't go in right now because the tide is low and the seawater water needs to mix with the thermal water because it is golden right now, so. Yeah, everybody's like, it's too hot to get in. We're just gonna go see it. Should be cool. But yeah, tide is super low and we had a pro down there who told us that 106, the tide starts to come back this Although way. Although maybe so. we're blood of the dragon, we can just get in there. I am blood of the dragon. We went up to the road, saw the hot springs, got mean mugged by a whole bunch of individuals, but at least we know where we're going now for when we want to go get in, which I think is going to be in the morning because we have to wait for the tide to come up because the pools are like very hot. Muy caliente. You hate me. I don't hate you. You hate me. I just think wasting battery power for aesthetic is silly. That's not silly at all. I like to balance the light. It helps my vision. It helps me see in the night. Bonbon. I thought you were a dick. one of the undead and could already see him. I'm not a vampire. We both know I like garlic too much. We're going to have a fridge whatever you want night for dinner. So I'm going to cut up some cheese. We're going to have a cheese board. We're eating chips and salsa now. And then we have some pastries from the, what's it called? The panaderia. We're going to eat those. Ooh, the lighting is so bad. See, this is why I needed two lamps. Because they're badly lit. Do better. Snack dinner. All right, it's been lovely. Mm -hmm. We went to a hot springs, but it felt very uninviting at the moment. It was like all, like, I'm assuming the neighborhood people that live here, but I think they're not used to like tourists coming at that time. So everybody's just like, what are you doing here? We're going back tomorrow morning. But you're and Charlie are going so early. I don't think yeah, that's happening. We're not gonna go there. They were like, we're, we're thinking like 5.15, uh, 5.30. I was like, oh. Unless for some reason I just wake up at that time, which I won't. 6.30 sounds manageable-ish, because that's when the sun rises, and I don't want it to be too hot in the, hot in the pools. But there is that. There we'll is see that where the piece. tide's at, too, because it are. depends on the tide. No, yeah, but we're going to go to bed. I'm going to brush my teeth. Good night. Good night. It's very early. We are going to go watch sunrise in the hospital. This is nice. This is worth waking up early for. 
I could become a morning person, dare I say it. It is very early though, but the sunrise is beautiful this morning. I got some clouds, so it's a long break. But yeah, this is nice. Nothing like drinking scalding coffee in a hot pot of water. <laughs> Two inches Thermal. deep. Thermal. <laughs> <laughs> Thermal. Okay. Excuse me. Not towards, Not towards the, the camera. Or them. All right, perfect shot. Oh, nailed it. It's, it's in that foods. pit. No, it's in that pit right <laughs> there. It's in a spice rack. It's in a different it's in spice rack. <laughs> it's my spice rack. Right with the tahine. <laughs> Hello. You do it. From this puddle. We're here. I love puddles. She does love puddles. It's actually her favorite. It's not bad here. The pools were pretty awesome. And honestly, like the, it's a good little spot. Nice and flat, beautiful sunrise. We're gonna head from here where, so there's not gas super close to each other here. And I thought there was a gas station in this town, which technically there is, except for it's closed. Make it somewhere, so gonna be sweet, but yeah. Not a bad spot. Pineapple, bananas in the morning. Little, uh, little hot springs. So, don't mind it. Not a bad little palapa setup. Two mornings in a row I've been up for sunrise. That's straight up unheard of, unless I change time zones, like, significantly. That was so worth it, though. So worth it. Um, definitely get spoiled in Colorado by hot springs, though. These were not, they were really like tide pools, so they were really shallow. The water was still nice, but it is a sulfur fed spring. And I don't know if you have ever been to Colorado or hot springs, but Orvis is Chase and I's favorite. It's lithium based, so you don't get any of the smell, and they're like big, deep pools that you can like swim in. So, but this was so nice watching the sunrise on the Sea of Cortez in a hot spring, like pretty good stuff. So, check that off the bucket list for Mexico. Baja's treating us well so far. It's nice, quite nice. My only stressor right now is making sure we find gasoline before we try to drive four and a half, five hours. <laughs> All right, we are leaving Puertocito and we're hopefully gonna go find some gasolina because heard from one person, it's four and a half, five hours away. Heard from another person, there's one that's an hour and a half away. That's the one I planned on, but they also sell out. So hopefully they're not sold out. Good news, we found gas. This gas station is notorious for running out random times, so we were all kind of like clenching because we weren't sure if we'd find it, but we got here. It's a little expensive, obviously, because this is the only one for like a while, but we are just like an hour south of Puerto Cito and we found the Pemex, we're getting gas, and then we're, I don't know if we're onward to Guerrero Negro or not, or maybe stop somewhere in between, but good thing is, we now have gas, so that's awesome. All right, we're starting to warm up on the engine quite a bit. It's not over the line yet, but something we're looking at really closely, obviously, because it's scary. We don't want it overheat in the middle of the Baja Peninsula because there's nothing around, there's no service. So looks like we've kind of plateaued. Maybe she'll regulate herself, change that thermometer, so Hope for the best guys. 
still looking a bit hot. So far so good. She's cooling herself off a bit now because we're going downhill.